welcome you all to The Gateway. The Gateway is a video podcast directed and hosted by staff members of Somerset Community College's student newspaper, The Bridge. This is The Gateway. Welcome to this episode of The Gateway. I'm Kinsley Perkins and this is Matthew Abbott. Joining us today is Josh Jones and Melissa Shamora from the admissions office. Tell us a little bit about yourselves. Um, So my name is Melissa, and I've been working at the college for about 14 years um, in various departments. So I am now in the admissions office, and um, we have seven admissions counselors, and I am kind of responsible for coordinating them. And uh, it can be a a pretty tough job sometimes when everybody's going different directions um, and doing a lot of on-campus and off-campus events. And my name is Josh, and um, I was a student here at Somerset Community College. I got my associates in arts degree uh, back in 2010, so um, I've been uh, a part of this college for a while. Uh, adju- I'm an adjunct history instructor, and my primary job here is an admissions counselor, which I've been doing um, for about a year and a half now. So uh, Melissa's my direct supervisor, try to get along, and <laughs> most days we're successful at that. But. And what are the, some of the changes being made in the office? So um, there are some changes. Uh, the biggest change, I would say, is that our office has changed. We moved. Yes. So we moved yes. up the hall to a different office. Um, we are probably contacting more uh, applicants, and uh, mm-hmm. we have a few more people that have joined our office. So, Yes, so we're, we are now located directly in the admissions office when you first come into the Student Commons building. So we are the first door there on your left, um, so we get a lot of traffic in there. Um, we, we basically change the office around even a little bit, like different furniture and things like that. We're trying to make that space more welcoming and inviting to both prospective students and uh, new applicants to come in, um, chat with us, you know, kind of more at a just a, a personal um, level, personal area, try to get to know people. Um, we also have uh, developed territory, so each admissions counselor has their own territory, and most of the time we base that on counties, or some counties are split, um, but we serve, Somerset Community College serves a large county area, about 16 different counties, um, so each uh, admissions counselor has two or three counties that they're serving, um, so that's a little bit different. We've never done mm-hmm. that. It's it's usually just, you know, come on in and we help everybody, so it's a little bit more um, focused on, you know, who, and then that helps you, I think, build better relationships with those people in your counties, in your territories, because they're always the one that you see. It's not just, you know, random, different counselors. And they know who to go to, you know. Yeah, yeah, we can, a, you know, hand contact. out our, our cards, and, you know, they we are your admissions counselor so of course if they come in the office and we're not there we're going to help anybody Um, but yeah it just makes it a little bit more personal and they say you know okay I know Melissa she's my counselor so kind of our our go-to we also are pretty much responsible for guiding them through the entire admissions process so admissions into any college can be a little bit um, stressful and um, there's all there's a lot of processes that we have to explain to applicants Um, and so just working with that one person to kind of say okay we're going to start you here do the application and then we're going to be with you through the entire process ordering your transcripts setting up your user accounts um, and then all the way through to just kind of gently passing them off to their advisor and then their advisor sort of takes it from there, enrolling them in class, and then, um, you know, working with them as a student, you know, for years to come. Of course, we love students that come back and talk with us and, you know, hey, I remember you from kind of working me into that whole process. So um, not saying that we're not going to still work with students, but it's more about just getting them through that initial first application process. So maybe if, if you think we're done with you, don't feel like that so and stop by our office say hey we've always got a few students that Mm -hmm. come in and say hey and talk to us for you know a while so and we enjoy that oh yeah absolutely so if you are enrolled in classes stop by and say hey and we know i mean we do some on-campus events we do some off-campus events we try to you know be active so so 
even today we had a um, the student student union building was open the student government building was open and you know had some people stop in and it's like hey do you know about this event on campus so um, we like to pass along the word you know a lot yeah. too to students how do you think those changes are going to affect the students and how big of an impact do you think um, I think it'll be great I think just having that one main contact for students and applicants um, you know, is, is huge. I hear a lot of times when I'm out talking with people, it's, you know, I, I make a phone call and I never know who I'm going to get to talk to. And I don't know if that person's telling me the correct information or not. Um, and, you know, I don't know, they don't know where I'm at in the process. So they have to start again with all the questions. So we actually, we have a case management system that we use to type in notes and things where if we've talked to a prospect or an applicant, we can go in and say, oh, yeah, I remember, you know, I've talked to them already. They're at this stage in the process. So that helps them a lot instead of saying, OK, well, this is where I'm at and this is, you know, my whole history. They've already told that maybe to me. And so it kind of streamlines that process a little bit. And, you know, even if we do go out into high schools, when we go out into high schools, you know, we'll meet students there that, you know, will contact us three months from now, six months from now, a year from now to make sure that they are complete, their admissions file is complete. And we just want to make sure that it's more efficient for them because it's, you know, sometimes it's not easy to get your application in, to get your financial aid complete. Uh, and it's just, you know, we can send out little messages that says, you know, hey, classes are going to be open for enrollment October 3rd or uh, and things like that. So it's it's helpful to the student and for us to make sure that they know we know that what they're getting and the information they are getting. I think another big thing is like a lot of students have kind of like a social anxiety and so for constantly seeing that person you know if I'm the one who talked to them let's say at their high school or out at an off-campus event then hopefully I'll be the one they talk to when they get here and so they're kind of familiar with me already um, so they they kind of know what to expect and, and like I said they're not having to work with a bunch of different people um, and so, and even for like parents of prospects or non-traditional, what we call non-traditional students, you know, that are 25 and older, um, sometimes it's just great to say, okay, well, yeah, I remember her, she took care of us, and then we're going to go back and see Melissa, or we're going to go back and see Josh. So they kind of know what to expect, too. What services do you offer to students that they mostly don't know about? So one of the big things now, um, like we had talked about going, you know, we do go out to events and things, but we can actually meet students where they are. Um, so it's, like I said, we serve such a large county area. So um, somebody from maybe our furthest counties might not be able to readily just come to Somerset campus and, and you know, talk with us for 10 minutes. Um, that seems like a long drive. Some, some people are driving an hour and a half away. Um, so we can actually go out and travel to where they are. They can, you know, we can meet them at a school. We can meet them at their local library um, or set up even, you know, a McDonald's or something. Mm -hmm. Set up a meeting time where we can bring the information to them. Um, so that's something fairly new that we're doing as well um, that students probably don't know about. They probably think, you know, oh, I've got to get all this taken care of. I'm just going to make one appointment and go down there and get it all done. But, you know, we can go and meet them multiple times uh, w right where they live. And one thing that I have found uh, in just the year and a half that I've been in this position is that, you know, a lot of people don't know the variety of programs that we do offer here at Somerset Community College. And if we get them on, on campus and show them all our programs, which we do provide campus tours, individual group tours. So, um, again, that's important when you have somebody that you can reach out to say, hey, Josh, I want a campus tour. Hey, Melissa, can I come in on Friday and do, do a campus tour? Uh, so we can, you know, get them exposed to our campus, show them around our campus, make them feel a little bit more comfortable before their first day on campus. So, and we can also, you know, show them if they're interested in industrial maintenance or welding or they want to get their associate in arts and transfer to a four-year university, we can walk them through that whole process. So if you are unsure about what you want to do, uh, even if it's your first semester and you still don't know which direction you want to go, we can, we can help you with that. Absolutely. One thing about our campus tours that differs a little bit from other schools that I've noticed is that we do very individualized tours. So when I say individualized tours, you just come, your admissions counselor will show you around campus, show you um, your program that or programs that you're interested in. And there's you're not joining a group of strangers. You know, there's not 12 of you walking around and um, it's very individualized. So it's just 
the person who wants to tour, they can bring whoever they want with them. I say, you know, you can bring parents, grandparents, uh, siblings, friends, girlfriends, boyfriends, we don't care. Um, it's just, it's really geared towards that real personal um, tour. It's it's not a tour full of strangers and, you know, so I, I think that's, and that's a little what bit we different than make yeah, that personal connection than some of the other schools um, that I've prospects. been to. Mm-hmm. Um, the other thing that people don't realize we can do um, right in the admissions office, we do have a couple computers set up. So uh, we help students do their application to Somerset Community College. Um, we also help them set up their user accounts. Um, that seems to be a big stumbling block sometimes, um, as far as you know, where do I go to do that? How do I do that? Um, what does my user account look like and what do all these things mean so we can assist them with that Um, we can also help with financial aid with FAFSA so people automatically think financial aid office but uh, we know just a little bit a little bit enough to help them out fill out their FAFSA Um, we can see if the school has everything that they need for financial aid um, without even having to send them next door you know basically to talk to somebody what can students expect to see from admissions in the future? Go ahead. <laughs> so uh, I'll start. Uh, so um, there are going to be some changes within our office. We're going to have some uh, soft seated furniture hopefully soon where students can come in and uh, more welcoming, more inviting so that they can feel comfortable if they're meeting with us. Um, uh, there may be some refreshments in store for prospects who, you know, are coming and hang out with us, whether we are preparing for a campus tour or whether we are walking them through the process of uh, filling out an application. Um, so we want you to feel welcome when you do come into our office, feel comfortable, uh, whether it's with your parents or with your siblings or if it's just by yourself. So, um, Yeah, absolutely. I think it's more of... Um Instead of a, a more of a programmatic system, you know, you have to do this, do this, do this. It's more of a relational mm-hmm. um, approach to helping the student. Um, so, yeah, instead of just saying, here's your checklist and, and these are the things that you have to do, it's talking with them. You know, do you, do you understand this? Do you have trouble? And really getting to know the person instead of just saying, you know, well, you're, you're, here's your number and, and here's your checklist. And when you're done with that, then just let us know and we'll enroll you. Um, so it's more of just come in the office, chit chat, um, relax. If you do have questions, we're there to answer them. Um, And then also for parents, um, we've heard multiple times, and of course this is more for the traditional students coming right out of high school, but we've heard multiple times that, you know, parents have tons of questions and they don't know who to ask and who, um, you know, and and they, they want to help their child out, but yet they still want to let their child grow and, you know, sort of be an adult at this point. Um, But we know that parents are interested in these things, especially the financial aspects. So, you know, building relationships with parents and having communications plans uh, for them as well, I think, is is key. And I think that's something that we're working towards in the future. And just getting them information that they don't know that is out there, like the Work Ready Scholarship. And, you know, we talk to a lot of parents and students that don't know the scholarships and the opportunities we have here at Somerset Community College. And if they know uh, who to reach out to, that's you know, takes down a roadblock. Absolutely. I do want to mention that um, they can schedule, now schedule campus tours right from our website. Um, They can contact us through our website. Our website has so much great information, um, but a lot of people don't know exactly where to find that information. So we always tell them, you know, if you just want to reach out to us, either call us, send us an email, shoot us a text even. Um, We're there to help them. Thank you guys for coming in today. Well, thank you, Kinsley. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very nice. Thank you. For more information on SCC Student Newspaper, The Bridge, or the Gateway Video Podcast, email us at sccthebridge at yahoo.com or contact one of the course advisors. This is The Gateway, signing out.